your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the Silent Assassin Suit Only series. And this week we are off to Dubai where we will be taking down Carl Ingram and Marcus Stuyvesant. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting at the default location. We're going to have a Seeker 1 stored up in the atrium toilets, and we'll be bringing with us a remote egmatic gas grenade in a briefcase, a vial of lethal poison, and our silenced pistol. So, right from the start and off the bat, Welcome we the are going to make our way directly to the atrium toilets and retrieve our Seeker 1. So we're just going to head straight up the stairs around to our right and into the first cubicle on our left. And just in the plant pot here, we will find our stashed item. So now we can remove our gas grenade from the briefcase and return it to the briefcase while we're in here. And we can then head off to the other end of the atrium. And in a short while, Marcus Stuyvesant will head over in this direction. Uh, he will be up by the black and gold bar. And that is just up ahead of us. And the balcony just ahead of us is where we will be waiting. So in a few moments or a few minutes, depending on your timing, uh, Marcus Stuyvesant will come along here to meet up with the Sheikh Al Ghazali. Uh, he's just waving at him right now. We're going to let him get a little bit closer because we don't want him to go and be sick over on the balcony. So once he gets into position, we're going to trigger the gas grenade. And at this point, his guard will attempt to follow him and we will attempt to distract him using our now empty briefcase. So I'm just going to sort of bump into the guard, drop the briefcase, and hope that he's the one that spots it, as there are about five guards in the immediate vicinity. Uh, I can't guarantee that uh, the correct guard is going to grab that, so we are going to make our way ahead of Marcus Stuyvesant, and we will wait for him in this cubicle. And hopefully this is the one he picks because he does get quite indecisive. And this was the cubicle he picked. His bodyguard hasn't followed him in. So we can now reintroduce him to his breakfast. And once we have done that, we can then move on to Mr. Ingram. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done. So that is one down with one more to go, and we're gonna head upstairs next of all. So we're just gonna wait outside the staff area here for the guard to move away, and when he does, we can then make our way through the corridors around to our left. And again, we're just gonna wait for the guard and the technician there to both move away. And then we're going to head up the ladder just to our left. So as he moves away, we're going to head up the ladder. And we can scoot along all of the rigging here. And we're going to make our way up into the penthouse area. So straight along the rigging, don't worry, it's a triangular sort of shape. Uh, it will be very strong. It will take your weight. It does look it, but it's quite flimsy. Uh, so, once we get to the far side, we're going to hop over the barrier here and grab the crowbar. And as soon as the guard there moves away, we can then hop up onto the balcony. We're going to hug the wall on the right to avoid the camera and bust our way using the crowbar up into the penthouse itself. And up here is where things will get somewhat tricky. So we're going to make our way straight into the pantry and we're going to render the staff member here unconscious. We're going to retrieve our crowbar. We aren't quite done with that yet. We're going to hide our new friend here in the chest freezer at the corner of the room. 
and then we're going to turn on the ice machine to attract the attention of the chef let's turn that off again that's a bit noisy and when the chef comes to investigate we can then remove him from the equation so far so good everything is going according to plan now the seeker one was intended for the guard who is remained in the kitchen now unfortunately uh, i misread something here and i assumed that the other guard in the area eventually moves away now i'll show you what i mean there's a guard right there facing this door and we need to get to that guard on the left now i thought this guard would move and after several minutes i realized he doesn't and by this point the Sikh has finished his speech downstairs and meandered his way all the way up to the penthouse so we are now in a blind panic trying to avoid the Sikh and his bodyguards because they were definitely not part of the equation uh, by now I was hoping to be already on my way back downstairs now unfortunately everywhere I try to hide it looks like the Sikh is coming that way so we are kind of stuck uh, so we just wait for that guard to move where's the Sikh going he's gonna go into Carl's office so we can now double back and we're just gonna retrace our steps back downstairs and back into the pantry and we are gonna have to resort to plan B for moving the guard and that is to grab the screwdriver from the crate here we're going to open the door and throw the screwdriver outside and then quickly run to the other door while the guard is distracted we can then make our way into the kitchen prepare the meal for mr ingram we're going to add our poison to the meal as well and as we've taken care of the chef we are going to ring the dinner bell at this point the guard should be returning but that will call mr ingram to dinner and all that's left for us to do is to start making our way to an exit uh, i'm gonna head straight back downstairs you can see carl heading for his meal in the corner there and we're gonna head for the uh art art installation exit the backstage one it's the nearest safe exit we can get to other than that we'd have to go all the way back to the atrium so we're just going to run around the back of the art stage uh, avoid the two uh, tech crew there if they're together you can give them a nice wide berth and get past quite easily and it's at this point that Mr. Ingram has we finally sampled his dinner. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. So, all we have to do now is to throw ourselves off of this perfectly good brand new building. So there we go. One more map, Silent Assassin suit only. And next up, I believe we will be off to Dartmoor. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.